new here at 4 o'clock. There are, has been such a focus on COVID testing that a Lake County family fears doctors could be missing other potential problems. The CDC sent out a warning about a bacteria that could be on the rise due, the, due to the pandemic shutdowns. There he is. <laughs> Tyler Matson is out of the hospital, doing much better, but still during our video call this week, he at times needed a break. Sorry, I'm, I'm still like very short on breath, so it's like kind of hard for me to go too fast or too much at a time. Tyler, who plays in the band Trouble Ahead, thought doctors would be able to figure out what was wrong with him rather quickly, but it took more than a week. His fever spiked to 104.7 at one point. Basically felt like a goldfish out of its tank. You know, I was gasping for air and unable to get any oxygen out of it. We pretty much thought that it's coronavirus and the doctor suspected it. What they thought was COVID turned out to be legionnaires. This bacteria likes to grow in pipes, you know, water that has not been flushed for a while. I work at a hardware store and water plants, so I'm thinking maybe that's possibly where I might have gotten it. Come to find out, the CDC sent out a warning about legionnaires in mold last month. They fear the prolonged closure of buildings during the COVID-19 pandemic may lead to an increase of legionnaires' disease. Lake County is now sending out the same warning as businesses reopen after months of being shut down. As they go back to work and they're going into these buildings that maybe weren't used as much before to make sure to do some maintenance on the water plumbing systems. So far, only a couple of cases have been reported in Lake County during the pandemic, but they're ready for the possibility of more. They hope the medical community is doing the same. During this whole time, we've been so focused on COVID that many of the other public health issues that have always been there are maybe being overlooked a little bit. As for Tyler, he'll go back to playing music eventually. His full recovery could take up to a year. Okay, so right now they are not exactly sure how Tyler got Legionnaires. The Lake County Public Health Department has started an investigation. As far as the state of Illinois, only 74 cases so far for 2020 of Legionnaires have been reported. And health officials, of course, are going to be watching for this in the coming weeks as a lot of these businesses reopen. Unintended consequences mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Interesting and points out run the water, flush it out. Flush it out. There's also Makes water sense. maintenance that you could do to your business before you reopen to make sure that uh, it doesn't spread. Word to the wise.